Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about the Belkin Conserve Insight and this this is the model F7C005Q and it basically gives you an energy uh, use monitor. And um, <clears throat> it's um, it's very nicely made. Uh, I like that they put these two in indentation that makes it easy to pull out off the wall. But uh, look, it's mad. Uh, but anyway, um, that's uh, that's the back. It's rated up to 15 amps, which um, most heaters don't go over it. So when you when you actually, uh, I I bought this to get an estimate to how much uh, running an electric um, heater would would run me for about a month, and uh, it worked really well. Uh, so let me plug it in, and well, I'll, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug it into, uh, I'm gonna plug something into it. And you're going to see uh, how it operates. Ah, and I plugged actually the LED lights, were, which are supposed to be uh, about 15 watts. Maybe not. Maybe they're only 1.12 watts. Let me check. I'll be right back. All right. So, uh, so yeah, I was right. Uh, this LED strip that I have uh, above the um, above above this counter, it has 22 0.07 watt LED bulbs, and. Uh, this is how accurate it is as far as uh you know I, I wouldn't blame it for not being one point five four uh resolution wise it should it should <clears throat> be at about half a watt and that's very negligible as far as uh, uh measuring uh and and getting you know um getting some accurate uh measurement so pretty cool it's uh it's uh, pretty accurate in, in that aspect. Um, let me let me see if I can find something that's a little that draws a little more power. We'll be right back. So I brought in one of my um, um, radiators, uh, oil field radiators, and uh, we'll plug it in. See how much it draws and uh, you're going to be able to see a big difference so right now it's at full wattage and it's showing uh, 1365 watts and let me show you also how it works as far as um, showing you how much money it's been using so uh, this is the cost for 365 days a year of, of, you know, of usage. This is for 30 days, and it just toggles between that. And I believe if you do a long press, it will reset it, and it just did. And you can set up how much it costs in your area for uh, a kilowatt. This uh, shows you how much uh, CO2 you've been using, or it's going to use for uh, 365 days of the year, and I guess uh, it's over whatever the limit is, but this is for 30 days. I really only use the um, incident wattage indicator. Now, the nice thing that they did with this is that it's... Uh, the actual monitor is connected to a wire so say uh, you want to monitor a uh, fridge and the fridge uh, is you know the socket is behind a wall uh, you can actually get this in front of the fridge and still have the device connected 
So that that's a major plus. Besides that, they they kind of desi designed it so there's a little uh, groove here, and it just sits like that. It's very convenient. Yeah, you can actually see it from a lot of angles. Uh, it's, uh, I wish some microwaves would use uh, uh, that type of uh, visibility as far as uh, seeing um, the screen. Let me turn this thing off. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. By the way, I do have the um, the um, Save a Watt uh, plug-in uh, uh, energy consumption device as well, and um, I believe that um, the other one is better because it gives you not only the uh, the wattage but also the amperage and the voltage that is in the line so it could be also used as a diagnostic tool but this one is nice if you don't want to do any um, uh, type of diagnostic on the line but you, you, you do care about how much it costs uh, to run a device and this does uh, you have to let it run for for a, you know for a good time just to get the averages out uh, because it does an average and there's some calculation going in it and it gives you a quite the accurate uh, estimation okay so uh, uh, that's about it if you have any questions please put it in the comments and please thumb up subscribe and I will catch you in the next video bye